Hey guys, it's your boy, Joey. Okay, I can't do it. He, he, he's the only one that could do it, all right? So, if you, mean, if you didn't notice by the attempt at an intro, this is Joey Fontaine versus Kiki Sphinx. So let's just get this battle going. Joey's having some 3DS problems, so uh, I'll be in charge of uploading these here battles. So anyways, Kiki Sphinx, challenging Joey, tier god. Leads out with Jafar, the Landorus. And I could only assume that this is an OU battle, right? I mean, if Landorus is in it, it's probably an OU, right? Anyways, Kiki leads off with Ditto. Lowers the attack because of the Intimidate. But the Ditto is an imposter. Intimidates and the uh, Jafar right back. Oh my god, can I get through this narration? Anyways, why am I wearing a scarf? It's 90 degrees out here. So... Joey switches out into Charlie, and if this thing goes for a rock slide, he's screwed, but it doesn't. It goes for the stealth rocks, and Ditto's are usually scarfed, so it's probably scarfed into a uh, stealth rock, so it's going to probably switch this next turn, or not. Ah. As Joey Mega Evolves, revealing Charizard Y. What will Kiki's Landorus do, or Ditto, as the sunlight turns harsh? And the heat wave crashes all over. Oh my god. Alright, well that thing gets one shot. Um, not scarfed. Stayed in. And pay the price. Now Rayquaza's coming in. Oh, it is a real Rayquaza. I thought it was a wall rain. Anyways, Rayquaza comes in. People keep naming their uh, wall rains Rayquaza. So right now, it confuses me. <laughs> it leaves me in a state of confusion. And this is not an OU tier battle, I guess. I guess I wasn't even paying attention to the initial mons. Jesus! Shows... The depths that I'll pay attention to. What am I saying? I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, Mysterious wins. Encircle the battlefield. Dragon Ascent. Descends right over Charizard. Aka okay, Charlie. One shots it. Down goes Charlie. But, um, yeah, how is Joey gonna deal with this thing? Well, by now, right now, right? He sends out his Skarmory. Brilliant. Skarmory takes some stealth rock damage. Rayquaza withdraws. The mysterious strong winds have dissipated. No, dissipated? Dang it! What is wrong with me? Anyways, Crocodile comes in. The fog comes out. Rocks gone from the field. Evasiveness stops. Lefties activates. Restores some HP. Crocodile goes for the knockoff. Tired of the lefties. Knocks off the lefties. The uh, SR-71 goes for the spikes. Spikes on Kiki's side of the field. Goes for another knockoff. Despite its power being diminished. Interesting. But um, more layers of spikes. Joey taking advantage of the fact that this thing is just knocking things off. He brings it in Shafar. Jafar. What are you doing here, Jafar? What are you going to do, Jafar? You're going to probably take a knockoff, Jafar. Jafar lowers this thing's attack further. I oh, Ah, I see. So he was trying to preserve his Skarmory. So this thing goes for a knockoff the following turn. Does a decent amount. Gets hurt by the Rocky Helmet. Guess it doesn't bother it too much. Jafar sets up its own Stealth Rocks. This battle's getting heated, I guess one could say. I don't know. Anyways, um... Krugadal goes for the Dragon Claw. Krugadal, you should have gotten out of there a while ago. But, uh, yeah. Jafar, you turns the heck up out of there. What will Joey do next? He brings in the Swellow. This thing right here is a menace from what I've seen and heard. Boom Burst! Joey specs Boom Burst. Krugadal's dead! Um, and, uh, yeah. That thing is potent. So, in comes Rayquaza. Rayquaza. What are you doing, Rayquaza? The camera! Rayquaza, unable to uh, stay within a uh, camera. <laughs> what is it? Amateur! Um, anyway, so yeah. Um, Joey withdraws the Swellow, because yeah, that thing will get destroyed by Rayquaza. Brings in Jafar to uh, lower this Rayquaza's attack stat. Although, at this point... This range, I don't know. Is it, is it enough? 81 HP, minus 1 attack, Dragon Ascent? 
It's not enough. <laughs> that thing is just, yeah. It, there's a reason why that thing is in its own tier. It just annihilates things. Anyways, now Joey brings back the SR-71. Is it at a range where it could live? Rayquaza goes for a dragon. I mean, for an extreme speed. Why? Why? You crazy bastard. Why? Joey goes for the whirlwind. I guess predicting the dragon dance. Um, in comes an Umbreon. This thing also belongs in a tier of its own. This thing is indestructible. Okay, maybe not, but it's, it, that thing is a wall. It's a wall. So anyways, uh, SR-71, a.k.a. Skarmory, is just uh, going to lay down some more spikes. Okay, okay. Can't get toxic. So what is this thing going to do? Why are you toxic in it? Have you gone mad? Maybe you were predicting a switch, I guess? I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt and say you were predicting a switch. Gonna give you the benefit of that. Umbreon goes for the wish. Kiki! As it appears that Joey's, yep, yeah, going for the whirlwind. Getting that Umbreon right up out of there. Although it might work against you, Joey, because, oh wait, maybe not. Lucha is gonna get a nice little wish uh, the following turn. So it can actually maybe potentially set, oh actually no, a whirlwind. High jump kick. There you go. Comes out on the Skarmory. That will be enough to take it out. And then it's gonna get a little bit of whatever health it has lost. Right back with the wish. Looking pretty good out there, Halucha. Although, you're life orbed, which makes me wonder, I guess, what's your ability? You're not probably unburdened. As a heat wave comes out onto the Halucha and gets the burn! That is actually very fortunate for you, sir, because otherwise, um, that, uh, I don't think you would have had that many things to hit it with, right? Unless you have Psychic up on this thing. I don't know. I don't know what you're winning, Joey. Oh, you have Air Slash. Okay. So you wanted to put it within a range where it would kill? Perhaps? I don't know. I'm just guesstimating. <laughs> guesstimating. What am I talking about? Clearly off my rocker. So anyways, Rayquaza comes right back onto the field. Completely out of camera focus. What is this? Anyways, Delta Stream activates. Rayquaza, you, you're drunk. Clearly you're drunk. You've had one too many, Rayquaza. You need to go home. Rayquaza, before it decides to go and leave us, is going to go for a dragon in ascent and possibly take out this Zatu. It does. Completely just obliterates its life. My God. So, down goes Sai Ao. The Zatu. In comes Zeus. Now, I'm assuming this is Choice Scarfed, right? So... Rayquaza goes for the extreme speed. I guess trying to get some sort of residual damage off on this thing. Zeus goes for the sludge wave. Will it be enough? It is. Takes down the Rayquaza. The mysterious strong winds have dissipated. And uh, yeah, now in comes... What's its name? <laughs> uh, Zoraora comes in. It's going to take a nice sludge wave the chin and uh, its air balloon's gonna pop as he goes for the plasma fist and uh, yeah just uh, giving Zeus a little bit of uh, health back huh very very kind of you very 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 kind of you and now you'll go for it you will pay the ultimate price so yeah um, Kiki in the last ditch effort to preserve some sort of hope and win this battle well, actually, Jesus Christ, that goes down all the way to half health. Anyways, Zeus is going to go for the Sludge Witch on the Umbreon. My, I can't even get my words out anymore. What is Umbreon going to do? That is not even. Oh, my God. Umbreon goes for the substitute. Umbreon, you've lost your goddamn mind. Um, Yeah, so uh, it was probably the turn where you should have gone for a wish, Umbreon. But anyways, who am I to tell you how to do your job? So, Keen, the Umbreon, is going to go for a Dark Pulse. Um, now it would have been a good time to have gone for the, uh, that little wish toxic combo you had earlier, but again, wait, was that you? Did you have that? I don't know. Maybe I'm just, whatever. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. It is 1 a.m. right now when I'm recording this, I believe. It is. Jesus! Anyways, uh, yeah, so that was Joey, um, Fontaine's battle versus Kiki Sphinx. It was a doozy. <laughs>